This is an S curve. It's any process that at the beginning grows very, very slowly and then suddenly grows very, very, very fast and then starts slowing down again until it reaches saturation and stops growing. We can see this, for example, with viruses spreading. At the beginning, 10, 100, 1,000 people have it. But then suddenly enough people are having it and spreading it that it explodes until that area reaches herd immunity. It starts slowing down and stops spreading. The same thing happens with ideas, with memes. At the beginning, you have one person that tweets and more and more people pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. It's growing very fast until it reaches saturation and then people stop spreading it. The same thing is true for technology. At the beginning, only a few early adopters use it. It grows more and more and more as it becomes more mainstream until most people are interested in getting this technology, so it grows very, very fast. And as it reaches a saturation, most of the people who want it have it, then it starts slowing down. It happens when companies go down. For example, Bear Stearns or Lehman Brothers, they had been around for decades. And then overnight, boom, they went down and they disappeared. It's what happens with popcorn. At the beginning, the grain is complete, suddenly it cracks, and boom, it starts growing fast, 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 until it reaches its popcorn shape and starts slowing down again. It's the way that ice melts. You might be heating ice and it doesn't bulge. It doesn't change, it's still ice. But then you heat zero degrees Celsius and then it starts melting really, really fast. Uh, once it's fully melted, the temperature is going to keep growing again. And the same thing happens with the water evaporating. At the beginning, you can heat the water, it doesn't change. You heat 100 degrees Celsius and it starts changing its phase. And then once it's all evaporated, it uh, can continue uh, warming up again. The same is true with the transistor where it might be on zero and you start increasing the uh, voltage and once it reaches a threshold, boom, it's going to go from zero to one. The same thing happens with magnets snapping, where you might get them closer and closer, slowly, 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 until they attract each other enough that, boom, they're going to snap. And then once they snap, they're going to stop moving again. It's the way promotions work, where you work for a long time and nothing happens, and suddenly you recognize them, boom, you get promoted and then you slow down until the next promotion. It's the way achievements work, where you might have worked for so many years on something and suddenly you're an overnight success, you get recognized, you get all the awards, and then things slow down again. It's the way that muscles contract, where at the beginning they're not contracted, and then suddenly you pull and up, they become contracted until they're fully contracted and they don't, cannot contract anymore. It's the way that natural animation works, where at the beginning is slow, then accelerates, goes faster, and then slows down again. It's the way countries are created. For example, during the First World War, or during the Second World War, and after the Second World War, and then nothing, nothing for years, nothing for decades, very, very little movement. And then what's going to happen again? We're going to have another S-curve in the 1990s. Boom, the end of the USSR, and then nothing again. And obviously, it is the way that companies grow. At the beginning, they don't have product market fit. They're trying to find something that people like. And then, boom, they hit product market fit. They start exploding, hyper growth, until their product reaches all the people that it's meant to reach. They start finding saturation and then stagnation.